Good morning YouTubers. I thought I'd do an update video on um, what's new, what's old, what's doing good and what's not doing so good. I wanted to start with this um, Cymbidium that I received today. Um, it was sold to me as a mini but you can see with the others it's not not that mini. I'd say that's not far short of the same size as the others but it's a gorgeous healthy plant it's got um if I can get down here and show you it's got some obviously flowers it's also got um quite a few new shoots on it I'll just spin it around so you can see there's one there one there um there's a couple more around this side there's one down there way down low just about to see that one and the other one is just there so it's got some three nice shoots which I'm quite pleased with really nice healthy looking plant um, but like I say it doesn't look very mini when you compare it with the others Anyway, we'll see what else is happening. So I've got really nice surprise. I've got three gorgeous looking fowls, I think they call these, or I can't pronounce the full name, but this one's got a gorgeous bud on it. I'm really excited to see what that's going to come out like. Um, I did have a little bit of a snail, well no it was actually turned out to be a slug issue with these free f frags, that's it, fragla pen, well I'm not going to pronounce it, but frags. Um, there was a nasty slug hanging around in one of these pots, but I got him yesterday, so hopefully that's the end of that. Um, but yep, yeah, I got these and they're looking good, that one was the only one with a flower or a spike. So I'm excited about that one. Um, it is called, I am no way am I going to try and pronounce it. But that's the name of that one. And the name of this one back here is that one there. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that either. And this one back here is that one. Let's pronounce, see that. There you go. So really excited. That's my first lot of frags. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to bring them on well and uh, we'll see how it goes. The other new thing I've started, which I'm quite excited about, I've made one of these I'm going to pull the blind in at the back if you just spare with me a minute so you get a better view. Right, hopefully that's a bit better because uh, there was too much backlight. So I've got these, which I'm really pleased about. So it's like these glass globes, which I got in Kmart for $6 each, which I thought was a bargain. And I've planted them with, I've put peat in the bottom. Then I've added a layer of moss. These little um, succulents I had growing in the garden. My husband's been growing them for quite a while and I've never used them, so I've put them in there. And then I've got this little air plant just, just literally stood on the top. Now, I've got three conflicting plants in here, so I don't know how I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to spray them daily and see what happens. But literally the succulents like dry conditions the moss likes it humid and moist and the air plant likes mostly dry um, but likes a spray so I'm going to spray them daily and I'm going to see how they cope I've got another one here which is a bit redder air plant with the redder succulents they're lovely they're like little jelly beans they're really cute so i don't know if i'm going to be successful with those but i thought for six dollars for the the globe 
the peat moss and the peat was free along with the um the succulents i did have to buy the air plant and i also thought if i get any surprise christmas presents that i didn't know i were getting from any friends i could possibly give them one of these as a gift i do have another one i'll show you that one and this one down here you can see that that's one done because this is not doesn't hold water very much so I've put that again in peat moss with some bark chippings on the top some more little succulents there and another air plant there and I've given them a good spray so that one's doing okay and the other thing I wanted to show you which is down here as well so let's just move that one is the mounts that I did on the catlias are coming are growing really nice so here's one of the tips that's doing really well sorry there and there's another one there and this one over here it's got some nice a nice tip there growing and it's also got some something some air roots I think in here so they are the first things I mounted and they are doing really well I'm really happy with them and that's if you can read upside down that's the name and that one there is called I have to read it upside down so they're doing well they get sprayed or the moss gets sprayed every day and uh, they seem to be doing okay. I'm just going to move the camera again to look at some others. These are two more that I mounted recently. I only just received these not long ago. So we've got this one here. Which is just... And this is mounted on Pungalog again. But I've, I've sort of keeping it round. I've got my husband to slice it in half. And that one is focus on it it's another catlia you can read that there you go um so that one's quite an attractive plant only little babies but he's got a nice new growth in the front there and then the other one is oops this one here which is couldn't see any new growths on this one so i hope i've put him on correctly um, but it's got some nice air roots and that one is it's the same plant it was um, I bought the two together so hopefully they'll both survive but if they don't and I've put that one on wrong then I do have the other one with a nice growth there um, let's see what else is new we've got um, that dendrobium beautiful flower that's still doing really really well um, it's got another cascading flower there and another one uh, where is it coming there so that's doing quite well um, what else have we got this um, this was another one that I done one of the first ones that I done this is another catlia now this is on actual pine bark get a better, better look there you go pine bark um, and that growth's really taken off because that was a lot smaller than that when I first got it. And that one is, that's an Oncidium. If you can see that, there you go. So that's quite good. Um, what else have I got? Oh yes, I know what I've got. Let's just get back up. Um, I've got, oh I've put my Phalaenopsis, I've tried these, um, I don't know what you call them like um water balls or something or they expand they're like tiny little sort of like seedy um size things when you get them and then they you put water and they expand now it's just an experiment i'm just going to see how well they do they may not do very well at all in which case i'll be whipping them out quick and putting them in their normal water culture this plant here was given to me last night by my neighbor 
lovely yellow one um, and he's yet to go in for water culture but gorgeous roots um, I've just put him in there to give his roots a bit of light um, but I will be putting him down in for water culture soon um, so he's a really nice really like the dark um, pink centre on that one um, oh yes another thing I've got I bought these carnivorous plants the other day and um, I'm really really pleased with these how they've come out they're in these things are called bird feeders um, and what I've done um, if you can see the bottom of it, it's not that big so I've actually placed it they're in a pot and they don't go all the way down the pot only goes so far down because you have to keep them in a saucer of water so I can put water in the bottom and this moss is just literally just pushed in it's not you know it's just pushed in around just to sort of like give it a cover if you like to make it look prettier and um, and when you sh I can hear there's water there you can hear that that's water slopping around so I know it's got water and I just spray the moss daily that's that one and then I've got, sorry, I struggled to get over it. This one here, I do have the names of them, but I, I can't remember. But I just love them. I think they look really, really cute. And again, that one's got the water in it slopping around. So that's good. So they're, they're nice. So that's my new creations there. So it's those and these. I do love those. I love neat little cute looking things and I think they look really neat and cute. So everything seems to be doing all right. Um, this dendrobium that I I did first is one of the first mounts as well. He's not doing anything. I uh, managed to keep the moss still green but he's just sat there really. Um, he's not grown anything new. He's not she I should be calling them she she's not done any anything she's just sat there so whether it was all a big bit of a shock being put on there coming out of because he was sorry she was in normal soil or normal potting mix um so I don't know if I've done a good or bad thing by putting her on that mount maybe it's just a shock and she just needs to get over that before anything else happens um, oh, an update on the sick mini phalaenopsis, which is here. Um, not good, basically. She's not looking good at all. Um, I've got her, just her tips in the water there. Um, but when you look, you know, she's, that, that there root, if I can feel it, that is squishy. It's barely, yeah, it's squished. Look, it's just come away. So I've got a feeling this is the one that was, um, I think this is the one that was planted with a plug of peat moss right up in the centre. And I think what's happened, it's it's caused it to rot in the centre. And I think the whole plant is really suffering. Um, although, you know, these it's still hanging on with these little baby shoots that seem to be coming away. But what the existing flowers are just real sad. I mean, look at this side. It's it's just pathetic, really. Um, again, there's a couple of baby shoots coming away there, but I'm not sure. And um, I've still got the receipt for this particular plant. And I'm thinking about taking it back to the store. Um, because, like I say, they're $30, these plants. And for $30, you expect them to come to you in a reasonable state of health. Um, and I think it was on its way out when I bought it and of course I didn't know that much about orchids then I was just new to it and um, yeah and when I did take it out of its pot it did have a lot of squishy roots but I didn't realise squishy roots meant trouble um, so I'm going to take it back I got the receipt and I'm going to return that one um, I've already got a replacement which is there which is that lovely beautiful pink one um so i shall either get my money back or 
possibly buy another one. I don't know. I'll see. But I have purchased quite a few plants recently, so um, I might just get along with what I've got for now until see how I go with that. Um, yeah, and that oh, that one, sitting wildcat's beautiful. Just look at those flowers. If I can focus, can't really focus. Perhaps on them up there. They're gorgeous. Beautiful. I can't believe nature is a wonderful thing. It makes such beautiful things. Really, really gorgeous things. And we should appreciate it more and look after it more. Right. Um, I think that's it really on all the updates. I'll keep you posted how I get on with that one at the store. But he's definitely going back and um, keep you posted on everything else um, and if I get anything else I'll keep you posted but I'm hoping just to look after what I've got and see how I go with this especially as I've got um, I've got my parents coming out this uh, weekend from England to stay with me for a couple of months so I don't suppose I'll be posting many videos where they're here. I'll be pretty busy with one thing and the other and what with Christmas. But um, I'll do what I can. If there's any major changes, I'll do some more posts. And if not, you may not hear from me. So we'll sign out with this gorgeous beauty here. And um, thanks for watching and I'll be back. Don't know when, but soon. <laughs>